everyone, this is Miss Emily from MotionTutor.com and this is a lesson on composition of numbers. The number range the numbers we'll be dealing with is from 2 to 10. Remember to always visit MotionTutor.com to see other lessons and video games and activities that relate to those lessons. Okay, now let's get to this lesson. The composition of numbers. Now what that means is I will be joining numbers together to make a bigger number. See, this image right here, this is called a number bond. And it is used to illustrate how numbers are made up. It shows the parts of a bigger number. So a number will be here, another number will be here. And you see how they're connected? There's a little line that connects to this bigger part over here. So the parts will be in here, the smaller parts, and they combine together and make a bigger number in here. And I will show you what I mean right now. So, I will have a number here. Let's say the number 1. And down here, another number 1. So, this is saying that we have 1 and we have 1. And they're going to be fed into here. They're going to be composed together to make a number in here. And I will grab another number. I'll leave it at 0 for now. Until we get our correct answer. And let me get something for to illustrate. And let me get something to illustrate even further. So here's a marble and another marble. So these are the parts. And together, they're going to make a whole number. So 1 and 1. And if we put them together. And here. We see that we have 2. So that means. The composition. Or when you compose. They mean the same thing. When we compose. 1 and 1. Together, that makes two. Let's try other numbers. Let's try... A three and a one. So we'll start over. I put this back to zero. So three and a one. What do you think that will be? So here's three, th this is representing the three, and here's the one, and then this marble representing the one. Let's take a look at how they will look being composed together. Three, one. Well, I put that one in there, and then the three rolls on in through here. And what do we see? We see one. Two, three, four in here. So that means the composition of three and one is four. Let's try some more examples. Let's see what if what if I had a two down here? So we're starting over. There. Three. Here's three. And here's two. Do you know what will be the answer when we compose them together? What would be the answer in here? Let's take a look. There go. One. Two. Three. That was up there. And then the two in here. 
And what do we see in this bigger circle? One, two, three, four, five. So that means the composition of three and two together will make five. I want to show you something else. You can also make five by doing something else. What if we have four and one? What if we have four and one? Well, as you can see, four in here and one down here, it is one, two, three, four, five. So it's still five. All right, let's get some more numbers in here. I will reset this back to zero. Let's see, we have three and three. So we have three and three. What do you think that will equal? Well, if we bring these three in, and then this, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six in here. So when we combine the threes, we get six. So the composition of three and three is six. What if we have four in here and what if we had two? So that's four and that's two. And we're going to compose them together. Notice that it will still be six. So this is another way we can compose and show the parts of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the four and the four and the two gave us six, just like the three and the three. And you know what else can give us six? A five and one. I'll show you right now, see? Remember, there was six down here, right? See? So there go to the one and here goes the five. There you got it. Five and one. And when you compose them together, it will be six. All right, I'm going to increase the numbers to eight. So, to get eight, you can try a six and a two. Let's see if I'm correct. Six. So there's six in here and there's two. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And... Eight. There you go. There are eight. Now, number bonds, to show the composition, 
sometimes they're written in a like a top down kind of way but it's still the same thing it still mean the same thing and you know sometimes they look like this also like a squared look sometimes they look circular like this this time i'll go with the squared look and you'll see it will be the same thing so if i have for example a four and one let's take a look at that So when we compose them, what would be the answer down here? It's a larger number. We have four up here and we have one. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And five. So we see that the composition of four and one is five. Same thing we did in the previous example, but now it just looks a little different. But it still is, it, it still means the same thing. The same thing's still going on. And I will do one more example. I'll bring this back to zero. Let's get the marbles up here. And let's say we have... One, two, three, four, five. So we have five in here. And we have four in here. One, two, three, four. So, we have four in here, and we have five over here. When we compose them together, what would be the answer in here? Can you guess? Let's see. What happens when we combine them? There goes that four over there. And... Five in here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine! And that is... Nine! So we have nine! The composition of four and five together is nine. And I proved it by using these marbles here. And you can see that this can go on and on and on. You can have different combinations. You can have different... Let's keep this nine and change this up a little. You know, I can have three and six. It still would be nine. And I'll, sh I'll show it to you. One more time. See, that's six. And here's three. And you see, if we put, you see, if we put these three down here and we put these six, it'll be nine. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. 
So that's all for the composition of numbers. Be sure to always visit motiontutor.com for more lesson videos and games and activities. Bye for now!